Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Grace, peace, uh, many blessings. Uh, shalom to the family. We got to talk. We got to talk. We got to talk, family. Okay. I need y'all to help me out with something here. I'm going to wait for a couple more people to get on, but I I, I really need y'all. I, I need y'all. We got to talk. We got to talk. We got to talk. We got to talk. Shalom. To shalom to the family. Grace, peace, and many blessings. Love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, I was expecting to have a wonderful Tuesday, but last night um, is just started out my day wrong for today. Shalom, everybody. Thank y'all for tuning in. Um, listen. Listen, y'all. Listen. Okay. I'm going to be doing um, about 11 o'clock. I'm going to be doing a lesson on the Fleet Doctrine um, around um, on, on my YouTube channel. It's Majors One, but I had to come on here and I'm doing a lot of more teachings on the on my YouTube channel. But this particular um, conversation, this is I, I need. I need understanding of this, OK? I did my video uh, on reparations before um, I gave, uh, because a lot of people said that, you know, it's from a biblical thing with reparations. So um, I went and, and just looked at, you know, if this is going to be identified as the second exodus and things like that. And, and reparations, I went ahead and looked at it from the Mizraim perspective and dealing with Egypt. Uh, Israel was in Egypt. Uh, they weren't broke in Egypt. And how when they left, they bankrupt Egypt. Even though they weren't broke in Egypt, they still bankrupt Egypt on the way out the door. And, you know, some people, they just, you know, they didn't, you know, some people didn't agree with it, you know, or whatnot. You know, you got mixed, uh, you have a mixed uh, idea uh, or philosophy when it comes to dealing with um you know, this whole conversation about reparations and things like that. There's sometimes in throughout, you know, your life where there's always going to be somebody or something to come to test the thorn in your side or come to test uh, you at such a level that you really don't want to go to a place, um, especially if you come from a place that you don't want to go back to. It's just certain things and certain levels of disrespect that America is just like, I, it, it just some, some things you try to just say, listen, you want to pray and certain, and then there's times where you just want to just really be like, Father, just rain your judgment, okay? Just, I mean, this stuff is ridiculous, okay? I need some help here. The title of this video, so we can't get reparations, but they can. Now, you know, we get into the conversation, okay, because you know what, dealing with the reparations, you got the comedic community, they're complaining and saying, you know, they need representatives at the table. You're going to have the Muslims at the table. You're going to have the Hebrew Israelites at the table. You're going to have the Christians at the table. You're going to have every type of person that is of African descent or from the region of Africa sitting at the table. And then we also have a situation where America does not really identify us, especially as Hebrews, as a nation. And so you have all these different monkey wrenches that get thrown. Then you're like, okay, well, who, who will appoint the leaders to represent all of these different vast communities of, 
of believers and, and things like that or non-believers or need probably have the atheist at the table, a black atheist who say, hey, we need somebody to represent us too because we need to make sure that the money is going where it needs to go. So you're going to have all these different issues. Um, as far as a, a bank structure system, got to have it set up. Who's the money going to go to? How the money going to go where? All of these things. We're dealing with the reparations for black people. So I understand and I get it. But hey, come, are you, you got to be kidding me right now. Okay, listen, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to show you here in a minute, okay? Last night, I'm on the phone with my deacon and one of my other brothers. You know, we sitting here talking on the phone and, you know, just talking about different things. And I'm sitting here on the phone and we're, you know, enjoying ourselves, nice conversation, biblical conversation, different things, you know, for the nation and things like that. And all of a sudden, one of the brothers, I think it was, may have been, I think it may have been, he said, hold up, wait a minute. And I was enjoying a nice, beautiful, I was at work, I was enjoying a nice, beautiful lunch of baked chicken, and I had a cheat day, so I had macaroni and cheese and collard greens, and I was just, I, I had my water, and I was good, and I'm in conversation with them, we talking, and all this, and he had to come and rain down on my, I couldn't hardly sleep last night, because I had to sit here and come on here and do a live to talk to y'all about something that makes completely no sense. And I need it just blatant dis I, Then you got Mitch McConnell who comes and says, well, black people don't need no reparation. We gave them uh, Barack Obama. We gave them a black... Man, just just disrespect, straight disrespect. We don't need any form of consideration to talk about anything dealing with reparation because we got a black president. We don't need any form of reparation, anything like that, because they so-called created and gave us welfare and assistance and all this other stuff. We don't need no reparations. It's not even considered about or talked about. They ain't even thinking about voting on it. And I'd be dog on if they get... Oh, hold on, man. Let me just show y'all. Let me just show y'all. Okay, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. This, this, this is buffoonery. Okay, this is buffoonery at the highest level of buffoonery. Okay, this is buffoonery at the highest level. What I'm about to show you. How do they get reparation? I'm just trying, I'm really trying to understand this. Okay, this, this stuff is going too far, y'all. It's going too far. I don't understand. I, I need some answers right now. I need somebody to give me an answer. I need, I, I need an answer, man. I need an answer, man. I need an answer. Somebody need to explain to me how, how, I mean, they just slid this in on us so quick. They dismissed the doggone reparations off the table with black folks and they turned around and they approved unanimously. Reparations. They, they, this, they, this is... This is such a level of disrespect. I mean, I, listen, I need everybody across the board. If you say you're a believer, this, this don't make no sense, all right? This don't make no sense, y'all. I'm telling y'all, this don't make no sense, all right? This don't make any sense at all. I need all of these white folks, okay? Evangelicals, I need black Christians. I need everybody who say that they follow the Bible. Explain this to me. This, this, can, this is straight disrespect man this is straight disrespect well i i need all my white brothers i'm saying all my white brothers i need y'all to explain this to me how in the i need all of you christians who always run around talking about voting i need all of you brews okay who 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 argue on the side of voting too because it's brews who vote too okay i need all of y'all to explain to me how is this possible? You want somebody to vote for these type of folks? Do you really want somebody to vote? Okay. This is the house. We all want to bang on the Democrats. All the Democrats, they try, they trying to take us down. Don't trust the Democrats. We can't trust none of them jokers. 
can't trust none of these jokers. I don't care if it's the Senate. I don't care if it's the House. I don't care if it's the Congress. I don't care if it's the Supreme Court. I don't care if it's your local, local, local uh, county judge and, and, and mayor. and I don't care. You can't trust none of these jokers, man. You can't trust them, man. They all in, they all in it together, man. I, all the, I need somebody to explain it to me. I can't listen. I can't. I can't. I can't take it. I can't take this, man. This, this is a bunch of foolishness, man. This is a bunch of foolishness. Let, let, let me hold on. Hold on, man. This don't make no sense, man. Let, we let, 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 look at this. Look at this, man. On Wednesday, the Democrat-controlled U.S. House of Representatives unanimously passed a controversial gay reparations bill. That will entitle same-sex couples to for, to uh, to millions of dollars in tax refund for their marriages, which were not previously recognized under federal tax law. They passed this unanimously. It's black folks that are in the Senate. It's black folks that are a part of Congress. It's black folks. And majority of you black folks, y'all always talk about, we need to be Democrats. Soon as you find somebody that's black, that's, that's oh, I'm a Republican. You want to bang on them. How can you rock with the Republicans? And, and they don't have our interests. They don't have our interests. But look, all you, all these black Democrats, all of them who are part of this whole thing, they voted to unanimously. I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all need to stop trying to look at this color thing. And I keep telling y'all, stop. Y'all think the devil, it just comes in one color. The devil deceived though. The devil don't care nothing about no color. Y'all do. I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all don't listen. You don't want to listen, man. You don't want to listen. You want to sit here and always want to talk about the white man, the devil, the white man. There's black, black devils out here too. Devil don't care nothing about no color. I keep trying to tell y'all this over because it was a whole lot of them Democrats, black folks, sitting up there, passed their vote to unanimously. There's always some black Democrat running around here. They almost killed us if cause they was on a tear if you ain't vote for no Barack Obama. And if you say anything bad against Barack, they coming for your throat too. These black folk, they voted too. I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all y'all don't want to listen. Y'all want to just run around here and y'all want to listen. And the white man need the white, the Asian man and all these other, no. This stuff don't make no sense. Man. Let's, let's, let's keep reading this thing. Look what it is. They had a reparation bill. This stuff don't make no this don't make no sense. And then I read some article where the New York Police Department apologized to the LGBTQ community. They apologized to them because of a 1969 kick dough at a hotel. They apologized to these folk for something that happened in 1969. They they made they made a public apology. This is what I'm saying, man. This is what I'm this is what I'm saying, man. We I'm telling y'all, y'all better grow spiritually and stop playing, man. I'm telling y'all. Y'all better stop reading these scriptures from a from from your crazy lens of listening to your partner and all these other folks out here, all right, who get no who all, all talking sideways and all kind of crazy. You bet I'm telling y'all, man, y'all better stop playing. You better start praying, man. Folk can get mad all they want to about praying. You better start praying. You better start praying. Ain't no ain't no pistols. Gonna help you with these type of things, man. I'm, I'm just trying to tell y'all, man. And then they putting it on your kids, man. I'm telling y'all, man. This, this is, this is, man. Folk, listen. 
Don't nobody come to me talking to me nothing about no politics. All right. I'm telling I'm telling you, I'm putting everybody on notice. The dude at the barbershop gonna be on notice. The reverend gonna be on notice. All these folks gonna be on notice. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling you, all my Christian pastor friends, do not come talk to me about nothing about politics. I'm done. Don't talk to me about that. I don't care about no voting. I don't care about none of that stuff. Do not talk to me. This stuff is madness. All these jokers crooked and shady. I don't want to get the, the rich folks over here. Now here we got the Democrats dealing with these folks. Everybody trying to everybody trying to, to make sure they have some type of bill for their folks. Ain't nobody thinking about us. I'm telling y'all, man. I'm telling y'all. I don't want to hear it. Do not talk to me about this stuff. Because this, this right here is madness. This is crazy. This is crazy. Look at it. I mean, just look at this craziness, man. $67 million. Then they got an act. They got their own act. The Pride Act. The Pride Act passed the House on Wednesday by voice vote, meaning lawmakers were required to put a vote on record. Notably, no Republican resisted. Wait, hold on. Notably, no Republican resisted. So all y'all Republicans out there, y'all in on it too. All y'all in on it. That's what I'm telling you. Don't talk to me. Period. Not, see, this is what I'm talking about. None of y'all can point fingers at each other. Why? Because the most high got to alt with all of y'all. I keep telling y'all, y'all don't want to listen. The most high got to alt with all y'all. Got to alt with all of you. Because at some point in time, you're going to do something that's going to tick him off. You're going to do something that goes against what he said. He got to alt with both sides. You can't, Democrats, y'all can't blame the Republicans. Republicans, y'all can't blame the Democrats. You know why? You know why? Because both of y'all voted for this joint. Both of y'all voted for this joint. And both of y'all sitting up there talking about we don't even need to consider or have a conversation about no reparation for black people and black people built this country. Still getting gunned down, still built this country, did all of these things. And it ain't even thought about. Y'all don't need no reparation. We gave y'all Black History Month. Y'all don't need no reparation. We gave you a black president. But yet, they want to tell you to choose the best of two evils. Our evil is evil. It don't matter if it's on the left side or the right side. Evil is evil. It don't matter. Period. On the left side or the right side. It don't matter. It simply does not matter. I'm, I'm, I'm about to get off. I'm, I'm about to get off. I'm going to read, read a couple more of this thing. I'm going to get off here, man. All right. Look what it says. No Republican resisted. The Hill noted that New York GOP representative Tom Reed expressed a technical concern about the legislation, but supported its core purpose to make sure our tax code is reflective of the law of the land as it has been declared by the Supreme Court. Speaks like a lamb or acts like a lamb but really a dragon. Speak like a lamb, but its intentions is a dragon. In passing the, the Pride Act, Democrats are honoring our diversity and providing long overdue justice to countless same-sex couples across the country who have been denied critical tax refund because who they are and who they love. Democrat House Speaker Nancy Pelosi proudly declared according to CNN calling for the Senate to quickly pass a reaffirming both the bill and its incredibly controversial message guess who, guess who else guess who else down with this yeah this per, this this woman who y'all talking about would be a make a great vice president as we previously reported presidential candidate 
Senator Elizabeth Warren, Democrat from Massachusetts, recently came out of support of this type of policy, later introducing a similar bill in the Senate, the Refund Equality Act. Federal government forced legally same uh, married same-sex couples in Massachusetts to file as an individual pay for, for more in taxes for almost a decade. Warren said of her bill at the time, we need to call out that discrimination and to make it right. Congress should pass the Refund Act immediately. We need to call out that, that, that uh, discrimination but we got to sit up here and deal with talking about we need to call out that discrimination. But you don't see none of these folks hardly opening their mouth about all the discrimination going on. Brothers getting choked out. Brothers getting gunned down on video. Folks getting off. Where's Nancy Pelosi at? Where's Elizabeth Warren at, y'all? Where are these folks at that's, that's all about discrimination? And all about truth and equality. Where, where's all this stuff at? Where are these folks at? This is this is all that I'm saying. You can't be hip. You can't be. You can't. You cannot. Again, this goes right back to being respected as a person. This is going right back to being a, the hypocrisy. On one side, we don't even need to talk about it or consider anything for black people. Dealing with no reparation. On the other side. Oh, well, we need to make sure that they're equal and have all the equality rights and make sure that they get this and get that and, and all these other things. This is the hypocrisy of this nation. And this is the reason why I'm saying. The most high man. Is going to do some things to these folks, man. Black and white. Black and white, they're going to get it. Because this type of stuff, this is this is what you call, when you start talking about lawlessness. When we start talking about telling brothers and sisters, this is where we, we talk about, brother, you, brother, sister, you need to keep the Torah. Abominations is in the Old and the New Testament. This is why we said, Ted keep said, screaming it loud, you need to keep the law. But they want to bang on us and get mad. Talk about, oh, well, y'all need to talk about that law. Y'all trying to bring us back on the body. So I guess this is freedom. Let me, let me, let me, let, let's, let's look at this. Here. This is freedom. Because we speak out against this. We're, you're saying, because we're telling folk to keep the law. You saying that we're trying to tell them to go back into body. So I guess this is freedom. And what we're doing, all right, according to the text, is bondage. Because when you say you're trying to bring us back under the law, you're trying to bring us back under bondage. No, we're trying to speak out against stuff like this. This is all I'm saying. Wickedness is across the board, black and white. It doesn't matter. We just read the article. We just read the article. The reparations, the Democrats and the Republicans both voted on it. Black folk and white folk. The devil has no Color. I keep telling y'all this, man. I keep saying it over and over and over again, but y'all don't listen. You don't want to listen. You don't want to listen. The white man is a devil. Meanwhile, you say your brother is an angel. This makes no sense, man. This, I mean, this is. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Listen, man. We have to speak out against sin, man. We have to speak out against sin. This is what I keep telling y'all. It's sin is the problem. If you want to say, hey, live righteous, live holy, if that's what you want to say, fine. As long as we talk about that this is wrong, if you want to say, hey, man, you need to keep the law. If, as long as it's pointing to this being wrong and other things like this, this don't let the word titles get confused. At the end of the day, it's righteousness. It's sin and it's righteousness. So I may say, hey, brother, you need to keep the law. You need to return back you need to stop doing this. You need to stop stealing. You need to stop murdering. You need to stop practicing all these other things. 
I'm, if that's what I got to say to get that brother to return back to right, then so be it. If you say holiness, if you say righteousness, wicked, all, it doesn't matter. Let's point people back to what to the essence of God, man. Point them back to the essence of the Father. He's righteous. He ain't with this foolishness. We can't. We can't continue to go like this. This is why I refuse. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to argue with folks no more. I'm not dealing with this because this stuff is getting out of control. The more we arguing and pointing fingers and acting crazy, the more all this crazy stuff. The more all this crazy stuff is intensifying. It's intensifying. This make no sense. Black people, y'all don't need no reparations. We don't need to talk about no reparations. Y'all, we gave y'all a black president. We done gave y'all welfare. We done gave y'all food stamp. We done gave y'all child support. We done gave y'all all these things. And yet, y'all want some money. Y'all want some reparations. No, nope, we ain't getting y'all that. Nope. But we're going to get to them. Because they're dis being discriminated against. Not y'all. Not y'all. And this is where I'm saying, man, as I close, I'm going to get off of here. Because this just this just messed my whole day up, okay? This just messed my entire day up, all right? It started last night messing my day up. This foolishness here, okay? All I'm saying is, beloved, I need y'all to pay attention and listen, okay? Adam falls, sin enters into the world. Christ comes, rid us from the law of sin and death. Giving us an opportunity, okay, bringing forth grace from what we call in the old covenant and transferring it right into the new covenant, okay, or renewed covenant, whichever one you want to call it. But mankind still is shaped in this wickedness, still born into this. So we still have an obligation to bring them to a place using the schoolmaster till they grow and mature to the point where they don't need the schoolmaster anymore to tell them what's wrong. But if we ain't giving them no schoolmaster, then how they gonna know what's wrong? How they gonna know what's right? This don't make no sense, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna get off here, y'all. I'm done. I'm done talking, man. I can't deal with this no more. I can't deal with this no more. Okay, I'm done talking. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. I'm getting off here. I holler at y'all at 11 o'clock um, on my YouTube channel. I'm going to be teaching on is the flea, you know, on the, is the flea doctrine, biblical, and stuff like that. So I'm going I'm to I'm deal with that because, you know, folks are panicking and folks trying to, you know, figure out what they're going to do. Folks trying to leave in the country. Folks are all kind of stuff, man. There's all kind of crazy stuff going on out here. All right. So I'm going to talk to y'all about it later, man. 11 o'clock. I'll see y'all on my YouTube channel. It's Majors One. The information is on my page. All right. Shalom to you all.